People living with dementia tend to be isolated. They tend to feel alienated from their families and from their friends. Their friends disappear because we as a society don't really know what to do with dementia. In nursing homes especially, people are taken care of, um, they're fed, they're changed, they're bathed, but in almost no case do they get someone, especially from staff, who has the time to sit and hold a hand and to talk to that person eye to eye, face to face. We change the conversation about dementia from have you taken your medicine today? Why don't you remember who I am? It's our goal to change those conversations to you may be different than you were before the diagnosis. You may look at life a little differently. You may even have talents that you never had a chance to tap before the diagnosis. And now you do have the chance to tap into them. So we believe in starting from what is still there as opposed to focusing on what isn't there anymore. So many programs are based on the negative part of dementia. So while we're waiting for a cure, our program brings joy to people who are living with dementia and their families. When I came to uh, the Woodmere Museum for the first time to be a volunteer, I was there early and there was a participant there and then he was telling me about his trip to Italy and it was kind of a disjointed story and it repeated several times and I realized this must be the person who has the dementia. And we moved into the museum and the director started the program. He was talking beautifully about the painting he was admiring. You would never have known that he had dementia. This painting had pulled him in to another life. I think I've said before, art is the answer. I guess I would now say, arts is the answer. <laughs>